Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we are taking a closer look at the Four Seasons Quantum Par 100 Watt LED and why exactly you'd want it. So why would you want a Quantum Par 100 Watt LED? Well, you're looking for an LED that's going to carry your plants from seed to harvest in a compact manner with a really affordable price tag and really high efficiency. Meaning that you're not going to be running into really high power bills and you're still going to get really great results from your plants. This is where a light like this comes into play. Now when we take a look at this light, it measures 30 centimetres by 25 centimetres. So not a wild size in terms of squeezing into those tight spaces, but you're still going to expect a really healthy footprint from this light. So we rate this light to offer great flowering performance in about a 60 cm by 60 cm grow space and up to an 80 cm by 80 cm for veg growth, depending on your requirements because you can obviously get more depending on the plant you're working with. But that's our rule of thumb to give you guys great results straight off the bat. Now what really makes these lights great is not of course just the compact size of these things, it's actually how they're built and designed. So when we take a closer look at these, what you'll actually notice is the diode placement. Now these diodes in themselves are Samsung LM301H. That's your horticulture division diodes from Samsung. We know they're built for the application, up to the task for reliability, light quality, and of course, growth performance. So taking a closer look at this light here, you'll actually see the way the diodes are placed. So what that means for you guys is you're gonna get a really even spread with minor hotspots below. And by hotspots, I mean high intensity areas that your plants really aren't gonna have a good time under. So what they've done here is push those diodes right out to the edges of this panel here to increase that spread while ensuring a nice even canopy coverage. The diodes themselves are mixed between 5000K and 3000K CCT, at least in the Samsung range. There are 730 nanometer diodes and 660 nanometer diodes, which are effectively red and far red that are sprinkled in there to help ensure a full wholesome spectrum for your plants from start to finish. Now keeping in mind with such high efficiency diodes and a really low power consumption of 100 watts at peak power, the results are going to be fantastic, but we want you guys to know that the dimmability of these panels applies across the entire Four Seasons range. With the dimmer controller on the side, you can easily lower the intensity down to suit shorter, more fragile growth such as clones and cuttings, and ramping all the way up through veg stages and flowering stages, that dimmer is there for you to use, which is going to adjust the overall power output of the panel and the power input. So keeping in mind when you do lower that value, the panel will be drawing less power, making it more efficient again. Now that I've touched on the design of the diodes that are used here and the combination of them, we want you guys to know that these panels are actually built for the environments they're intended to be used in. They're extremely robust and durable and weatherproof. Now, we don't necessarily recommend installing them outside, but in hot, humid climates, such as grow tents, grow spaces, and greenhouses, they're gonna be exposed to some pretty harsh elements. We want you guys to be assured that these panels are up to the task and they're built to last. With a five-year warranty included on these panels, you can be assured that it is gonna do the job for a very long time, day in, day out. Now, because these are designed for the NZ market, we want you guys to know that they are fully certified to run in our country. They're NZ SAA certified, so they meet the highest requirements for performing within our country for safety and electrical certification. So what you'll see on the back side of the LED here is actually a Meanwell XLG series driver. Now, they've gone with Meanwell drivers because they are simply the best in the industry. They're always the preferred component of choice because they are very efficient, long-lasting, and again, built for harsh conditions and the environment they're going into. Now, next to that, you'll actually see the way they're connected. They are using waterproof connections to ensure that there is no moisture ingress across that long period of time, whether it's hot or humid conditions. The dimmer themselves have RJ ports fitted to the front side, which you'll notice can be used or integrated with a master control. We'll actually show that very soon in integration. And the dimmer itself runs in stepped increments. So no longer are they using a completely linear adjustment. The steps themselves will make it a lot easier for you to dial in that exact intensity you're looking for. Now, there is a key component on the back here that you actually probably haven't noticed. That is the entire panel itself. This black surface with blue decal on it is in fact the heat sink of the LED. This is where the heat is going to be uh, absorbed and rejected from the panel. Now they've gone with a nice thick four millimeter style heat sink. Now what that means for you guys is you can expect excellent heat absorption and rejection from this panel. Thus having a lower temperature running LED, perfect for reliability and longevity. And it keeps the panel nice and sturdy. You're not gonna get any flex or warping no matter the heat temperature or climate you're applying this to. There are posts mounted to the corner of each panel, which is simply where those hangers can attach to. With this unit, they do include a nice set of wire hangers for you to clip in and then attach the adjustable hangers, which are of course included as well. Now, you can get a little bit more customizable with this. We do actually encourage a lot of DIY adjustment. If you just can't quite get that application, it is really easy to whip up your own style of adjustment and installation for these panels. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this Quantum Power 100 watt light here and we're actually going to set it up in a 60 by 60 and give you guys some real world testing. We have a spectrum radiometer with us to show you guys the spectrum and we also have an Apogee Far Par meter which is going to give us a breakdown of how much U moles we're getting or the intensity from this light that the plant's going to receive at various dimmer stages and at least give you guys a little more insight to how these lights can perform. So we've gone with the Eclipse 60 by 60 by 160 pi and as you can see it's actually a really compact tent. When we pair it with the Quantum Par 100 it gives us excellent performance and efficiency for such a small grow space. So for people who are looking to start your plants from beach right through to flower, this is going to be the choice for you. So let's take a look at how we've set this up using all of the included equipment. So don't be fooled by its compact size and really efficient wattage. At 100 watts you can still expect great performance from a tent this size. So what we're going to do is give you a little more insight into why that is. Now what we've done here is we've just taken a sample of light using our spectro radiometer and we're going to give you a breakdown of what it means. Now as you can see we've got the full range of the rainbow within there which is what the plants are seeing currently. But what you'll notice is we've actually got a very high peak in the blue range. So what that means for you guys, or at least your plants, is they're going to be growing shorter node gaps. Now for a lot of people that means you're going to see less stretch, you can have more compact growth. Definitely a desirable trait, especially when growing indoors, particularly in rotates this size. When we move up to the other end of the spectrum, what we're going to see is a very high influence in reds, and particularly the far red as well. What that means for your plants is they're going to still be able to perform when it comes to fruiting and flowering with no compromise. So really nice to see that we've got a full broad spectrum here, or as referenced as full spectrum. This is a true full spectrum which is offering to your plants. So, spectrum's just a piece of the puzzle though. Actual intensity is what makes the difference as well. So, our rule of thumb is aim for about 45 centimetres from the canopy and half power for veg, full power for flower. That's an easy thing to go by and it does get you up and running. Now the main reason we say that is generally on a long day veg cycle, let's say, the light is exposed or running for at least 18 to 20 hours. In 18 to 20 hours, that's a long time to expose your plants to light in a single day. When it comes to things like short day flowering or short day cycles, you have to reduce the run time of that light to something like 12 hours or so. For a lot of people that means that they need to run the light at a higher intensity setting to achieve the level the plant requires for a healthy fruit or flower set. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set this light at about 45 centimetres here and we're going to take a couple of samples using our Apogee instrument and give you guys some insight to the intensity we're seeing at these different dimmer settings. So we're taking our PAR measurements using the Apogee Connect instrument which is measuring far PAR which obviously includes your PAR plus far. So don't stress too much about that, we're just going to be taking some intensity levels. So we've set this at about 45 centimetres and I've cranked the dimmer up to 100%. And I've just got it connected to the app here which is going to be giving me a readout. So with the tent doors open you generally see a slightly lower level. But sitting right on the canopy there, we've got about 660 U moles or par. So for a lot of people, that is more than adequate for a comfortable flowering result. Now, of course, if you did want to increase that number, simply lowering the light closer to the canopy will see that number rise dramatically. But for the sake of argument, what we wanted to do was give you guys an idea of how that looks at 45 centimetres ish. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn that down to half power and just take another reading and now we are sitting at about 400 U moles for just under so perfectly adequate for veg growth and we'll go down further again I'll set it to about 20% and now we are sitting in the range of about 150 U moles so that's probably still a little bit on the high side if you're working with very fresh, fresh cuttings or clones but for a lot of people that's probably the next step you're going to go into and just ramp it up from there so Great to see such a versatile range of intensity and of course the spectrum. So for a lot of people this is going to be the light to go for when you're working with compact grow spaces and you need to carry your plants from start to finish. So having the functionality of a dimmer built into the panel is absolutely excellent and it really does add some versatility. But what about the commercial level set of features that these have to offer? Now if you're taking a look at the front obviously we've got the input and output. Let's reference what those actually are for. When you use the included RJ cable as such, it will connect to a master controller such as this one. Now what that means for you guys is you can connect multiple lights to a single controller, whether that's through daisy chain or group A or group B ports, which means you can have two separate time cycles 
or two separate lighting groups. So in this case, I'm just gonna show you how that would connect and how it's gonna operate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the included RJ cable and I'm just going to plug that into the input right on the front of the LED here. Next step is turning the dimmer all the way around to EXT. And what we mean by EXT is external control. So it's now referencing whatever a controller is telling it to do. So I'll just wind this cable out a bit. Got my master controller here powered up and I'll just plug that straight in. Now the master controller is telling the light to stay off. So it's turned off, but I'll just show you what it's like to turn that back on. So let's say you would set this up for time scheduling, the light's gonna turn on. In fact, it might even simulate a sunrise gradually ramping its way up through the dimmer. But in this case, I'm just gonna show you how it can operate it remotely, just like so. So just flicking that to on, the light is gonna quickly ramp itself up to 100%, which is where I've got the dimmer setting. So a really nice set of features. Don't get me wrong, they're not gonna be applicable for everyone in a domestic situation, but really nice to know that they are there and they're ready to go if you wanted to expand, whether it's multiple lights or simply have the versatility of the control. So if you're looking for a compact, industry-leading 100-watt row light, the Quantum Pass should be at the top of your list. We're really proud to offer these, knowing that they're built using such high-quality componentry and definitely deliver the results. We really hope we've answered all of your questions and given you a little more insight into what these grow lights have to offer. If there's anything at all that we've missed, please get in touch with us here at Purple House and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.